the Federal Executive Council, FEC, eh, they do their meeting and they don't approve five billion dollars annually as poverty alleviation trust fund. Forty percent will be coming from I mean thirty percent, thirty or forty percent will be coming from the federal government, and the remaining will come from the private sector. Now so they take poker. These people don't they catch too much cruise with poverty alleviation program, poverty alleviation scheme, poverty alleviation, uh, whatever they call it. Five billion dollars annually. I beg, make I carry owner so that when I go use on our own ear, hear them. Me no be like from my mouth to hear them. I won't carry you now. Go where you go, hear them by yourself. When we come back, we we'll go discuss. But before we go watch that video, we already talk about that. Eh? Today, now my bed deal. Eh? Now only one number you feel use reach me, and that number is there your screen. <laughs> A very unique number. Mwa, show me love. Eh? Make I carry you now to go watch the video. We hear them talk and say five billion dollars for poverty alleviation scheme or whatever they call it. Eh? Now headlines we they like for this country. Big big headlines. With no results. But watch this video. Every year, we hope to be able to um, raise at least five billion dollars within this um, fund, and this is from the different sectors. So we're going to have contribution from government, of course, from the private sector, development partners, um, individuals, philanthropic individuals, and other innovative form of um, crowdfunding. Well, while some have lauded this uh, initiative as great, others have even said, "What? what uh, is there a legislation uh, backing this actual trust fund as well? I mean, like she mentioned, I mean, she opened during the ANGA saying yeah. that, you know, 30% was going to come from the federal government yeah. as well as, and then 70% from the private sector. I think it's a great initiative because it will help the private sector to, you know, organize funds for the most vulnerable. Let me take a, a reaction uh, from Albright, who wrote, While establishing a humanitarian trust fund is a positive step, there is a valid concern that bureaucratic processes might hinder the efficient distribution of funds, potentially leaving those still in need or waiting for assistance. I mean, I think that's a, a great uh, uh, tweet there, because, I mean, he also raised a very valid point because of the bureaucratic processes that we have experienced in Nigeria. Yeah. Ayo, you know that last week, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, launched the uh, Renewed Hope uh, Conditional Cash Transfer Program to 15 million households at the State House in Abuja, where dummy checks were handed out to beneficiaries for photo ops. It elicited a wave of reactions. Uh, the launch of that event coincided with the uh, World Poverty Eradication uh, day. Let's take some uh, reaction from that event before I come to you, Ayo. Uh, this person wrote, What governance has been reduced to in Nigeria? Three ministers and SGF presents 25,000 naira, that is $24, oh, to a vulnerable woman. All of them are smiling except the beneficiary. Then another person there goes, uh, This is a show of shame. 15,000 naira given to a man to fight poverty with SGF and two ministers posing for photo to show the whole world. By the time the old man uses 7,000 naira for transport fare back to Makodi and returns 7,000 naira he borrowed to go to Abuja, what he is left with is 1,000 naira to fight poverty. Senseless. So you see, I love that detail there. Because, you know, when, when it is great to make these types of, you know, pledge to the poor, have we really calculated their need? Ayo. You don't hear them. The minister of uh, humanitarian, no, whatever, whatever, better he do. You hear when he talk for them. Uh, so now where we did now. Uh, inside that same video, you see where they share 25,000 naira give people? And uh, 15,000 naira. <laughs> <laughs> and the people where they give and the ministers where they hand over the placard that be the with the assembled uh, the certificates all of them they smile now only people the only people who they smile now people where they give the money or oh, the enemy uh, who they give they smile who they receive you know they smile <laughs> one thing maybe i even noticed and i say you see that placard where they give them it cost 
The cost of produ producing that uh, placard, it costs past the money with the right on top. With the, what give these people? <laughs> Aye! And he, he, he will read poverty now, cash it out. He cash it out with poverty. Poverty alleviation this. Poverty alleviation that. Eh, government will break 30 and be 40%. And eh, private sector will now bring eh, the remaining. And then they will just alleviate people from poverty. Nah, if not, since when these people start to talk about poverty, eh, I saw if say the thing they work, many Nigerians will be out of poverty. The statistics is 103 million Nigerians below the line of poverty, out of 200 million Nigerians. If say all these things, they know they talk about poverty during the last regime, we hear trader money, school fee, they gain one, this one, that one. At the end of the day, people are still poor. Now, five billion dollars, and over Naira, not be Naira, five billion dollars annually. <laughs> Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury, and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads. Uh -huh, so, you know, that's the good. When you lose trust in a government, what did they want to tell you again when you won't believe? This government now, when there is no trust, eh, 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 poverty, poverty, poverty. Who you will not bring out from the poverty? 25,000, 15,000, eh, to 15 million households. Who they collect them? Now, eh? like because of all the toxic, who they collect this money? They don't go arrange this people come. They place placard 25,000, 15,000. The people now we can't collect this money. Some of them, let's assume, as they talk inside that video, some of them they are not coming from Abuja. Somebody from Makot. You hear them inside that video. You go pay seven thousand naira, go back. Maybe if they go pay seven thousand, go pay. Then you will now have only one thousand naira to fight poverty. You understand? That's totally fifteen thousand naira. They now we collect five thousand naira. I what do you want carry and do? How much is the bag of rice inside market? Eh? Hey, we don't know poverty now cash. People are, with poverty they are, they are, they are, they are cashing out. We are fighting poverty. We are fighting poverty. Eh? This five billion dollars annually. All of us now see go take go now. Do you need to be told how eh, how the money go go? Car. Now for my mother go yes eh. Now now Judas betray Jesus. You know now see go take go. Money we don't lose. As they call this amount to now, eh, they to they don't write them down. You understand? Eh, they don't share them. The sharing formula don't do. Now to just inform and I say we are fighting poverty. The poverty they are fighting is in their own household. They are fighting poverty of second generation, third generation, fourth, fifth, tenth generation that will never be poor from their families. Oh, all our poverty hand are fight. That is the poverty they are fighting. Not you. No, be you. You didn't hear me, ba. Uh -huh. So when you hear five billion dollars annually to fight poverty, poverty alleviation scheme, uh, uh, insurance, this one, not lie. Now their own poverty, did they care. You know, get anything to do with you. I don't finish. Which I won't talk again. I'll go say Ona later.